What's going on guys, Josh Pokok here, and we've covered Klein multiple different times on this channel. And a couple days ago, we just covered Klein version 3.1 and some of the insane updates that they've been making. Now, I personally love Klein, and I've always been someone to give the Klein founder their flowers when it comes to pushing out quick updates and really just making an overall great tool that has some unique features that we haven't really seen anywhere else. Now, obviously, the AI space changes so quickly. You know, new models are getting launched each and every day, it seems like. So with that being said, a lot of the users that use Klein regularly wanted more frequent updates. And that's where today's tool comes in called RuKlein. This is a fork of Klein. Now you might be wondering, what is the difference between Klein and RuKlein? Well, RuKlein is, like I said, it's a fork of Klein, and essentially they are pushing out some updates even quicker. And if we take a look on Open Router here, you can see that Klein, of course, is at number one for usage um, with 18.5 billion tokens. Then RuKlein is number two at 5.42 billion tokens for today. If we go to the week, we can see that it's that same ranking right there, and for the month as well. Um, they are one and two for the ranking. So RuKlein is a fork of Klein, an autonomous coding agent with some additional experimental features. It's been mainly writing itself recently with a light touch of human guidance here and there, which is pretty cool that you can really just have these AI coding agents write themselves and self-improve and iterate, uh, obviously just with a little bit of human intervention at the moment, of course, very soon it's probably going to be zero human intervention. Now, a few experimental features that, you know, some of these are unique to, you know, that Klein doesn't have. Um, so drag and drop images into chat, delete messages from chat, uh, and also to some different features that RuKlein has, uh, Klein does have now, but RuKlein added it in before, like auto approve, etc. So at mentions git commits to include their contacts in chat, save different API configurations to quickly switch between providers and settings, enhance prompt button open router models only for now. So that's pretty cool that it has an enhanced prompt button. Sound effects for feedback, options to use browser on different screen sizes and adjust screenshot quality. That's pretty cool. Quick prompt copying from history. That's useful. Open router compression support. Include current time in the system prompt. That's nice. Use a file system watcher to more reliably watch for file system changes. Language selection for clients' communication, English, Japanese, Spanish, French, German, and more. Support for DeepSeek version 3, support for Amazon Nova, Meta 3, 3.1, 3.2 models with AWS Bedrock, support for Glamma, support for listing models from OpenAI compatible providers, support for OpenAI compatible models with or without streaming, per tool mcp auto approval enable slash disable individual mcp servers enable slash disable the mcp feature overall automatically retry failed api requests with a configurable delay after auto writes to allow diagnostics to detect potential problems control the number of terminal output lines to pass the model when executing commands runs alongside the original client so how do you go ahead and start using ru client well you can go either into your vs code extensions and search for ru client or you can just go to this link which will all the links will be covered in the description down below and you can simply just install it it has 25,709 installs already as of today all right so here i am in vs code as you can see i have klein right here all right this is version three and then i have ru klein right here so a few things to know we can see that we could drag an image over here just as a side note. Okay, so let's say I wanted to take a screenshot of Twitter here and then I go over to RuKlein. Now I simply just click shift on my keyboard and then I drag the image over. So make sure you click shift and then you'll see it in RuKlein. So I could tell it to make me a Twitter like interface, but I'm not gonna use that right now. All right, also to say if I created a prompt right here saying create me a, create me a beautiful CRM with Next.js, I could go ahead and click on these little stars right here to enhance the prompt. Now, like I said before, this is only available for open router at the moment. Now we see create a modern 
enterprise grade CRM system using Next.js 13 with app router featuring real time updates, responsive design, and TypeScript. Include core modules for contact management, deal pipeline, email integration, task listing, and analytics dashboard. Implement authentication with NextAuth.js, PostgreSQL, database with Prisma ORM, and Tailwind CSS for styling. Add features like drag and drop interface, data visualization charts, etc., etc. Okay. Now, I would lots of times not recommend going this in depth, depending on what it is. You know, if you go like the full prompt with front end back end integration lots of times it will um be a little bit tricky now you can also click here this image icon to upload images as well next if we go to mcp servers all right this is something that klein does have now so you can edit mcp settings etc enable or disable this here's your history so you can filter by oldest newest most expensive tokens most relevant etc all right we also have settings up here so if you go here we can select our provider right here we can create different profiles like so we can have a default profile a different profile so we have multiple different providers we have a bit more than actually clients so we have open router anthropic google gemini deep seek we have gcp vertex ai we have glama olama lm studio okay down here you can select your preferred language under agent settings so we're going to do english you can add custom instructions enable mcp servers Terminal output limit, enable editing through diffs. You may have noticed over here in the chat, we don't see the auto approve feature that we see in Klein. But if you go to settings and scroll the way down here, you will see high risk auto approve settings. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. So you can either toggle on a few of these options, so always approve with right options, um, always approve browser actions, always retry failed API requests, always approve MCP tools, for example, always approved allowed execute operations. So you can add different allowed auto execute commands like NPM test, NPM install, TSC, git log, git diff, git show. You can add different ones as well if you'd like. And of course, you can change some of these settings right here. So delay writes to allow diagnostics to detect potential problems like so or this one right here so you got a lot of different options which is nice and then the browser settings so you can change the viewport size so small large desktop tap tablet mobile etc and you can change the screenshot quality from 75 percent 100 percent etc and then you can choose to either enable or disable sound effects right here so a lot of different options we're gonna go ahead and click done i'm actually gonna go ahead and actually drag this twitter image again and i'm gonna say make me a twitter clone all right, so I'm saying make me a Twitter clone with Next.js, App Router, and Chad CN. We're going to go ahead and click send. All right, so we hear some of these sound effects. Let me break down the task of creating a Twitter clone. So it wants to execute this command right here. So I could go ahead. I'm going to allow this command to create a Next.js app. Okay, so now Klein wants to execute this command to install Chad CN. All right, so it's now adding the... Uh, different Chad CN components like avatar, card, input, button, etc. Okay, so you can see here it installed those components. Now it added a sidebar, main content, widget area, and navigation items, main feed, widget components. We updated the layout, updated the page.tsx, the navigation.tsx. We made that component. All right, so if you want it to run on autopilot like it is right now, just make sure that you go into the settings and you add the specific commands that you want it to allow for, whether that's CD or NPM or PNPM, and then it's going to run it on autopilot. You can see the diffs here that it is using, which is really nice. All right, so it had an error here that it fixed, and now it's rewriting the layout.tsx, and then it's going to start our Twitter clone. So here we go. We're running 
npm run dev. Now if I go to localhost 3000, you can see that we have our Twitter clone right here. So we got home, explore, notifications, messages, list, profile. We got a post here, got a dummy profile post right here. What's happening, you know, hashtag, search bar, etc. We're getting an error here. So I can copy and paste this over. Okay, so we're getting a type error. Right now it's using the browser tool to take a look at the website. And as you can see, we got that error that is gone now. All right, so now it's making a test tweet right here. Great, we successfully tested the functionality of our Twitter clone. The UI is working as expected, working navigation sidebar, tweet composition and input field, post button, etc. So, all right, so as you can see, task completed, boom, boom, boom. Obviously we could iterate on this and improve if we want, but I think you guys get the point. All in all, guys, like I said at the start of this video, I really love Klein. I think Klein is a great uh, AI agent coder, and it's one of the best open source ones, if not the best open source one we've seen. And Rue Klein is definitely a good fork that I would definitely recommend checking out, especially if you are a Klein fan. I'll leave links to everything, like I mentioned, in the description down below. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you're new here, we upload videos on time on AI, AI coding, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below. And then definitely check out our Stride AI Academy with free resources, courses, etc., templates, behind the scenes stuff. I'm gonna be putting a lot into the Academy, so make sure to join while it is still free. Other than that, guys, if you run a business and you need help with your marketing, your sales, your systems, or implementing AI agents like AI appointment setters, AI call center into your business, then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.